and assalamu alaikum. Hope that you all are happy and well wherever you are. Before we start today's vlog, please may I request to all you guys out there that please subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, then please give me a thumbs up. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my recipe of vegetable pakoras. So let's go towards my kitchen and make those yummy pakoras. So the ingredients that we need for our vegetable pakoras are I have one leek finely sliced, I have four scallions finely sliced, I have a bunch of coriander which has been finely chopped, one chopped tomato, three chopped jalapeno chilies, one large potato chopped, I have half a cup of kale chopped and for the spices I have one teaspoon of whole cumin, zira, one tablespoon of fenugreek leaves, one teaspoon of salt, add salt according to your taste and requirement, half a teaspoon of freshly grounded garam masala, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of haldi powder, turmeric powder, and 500 grams of gram flour, which is basin. So the way that I actually make the mixture of the pakora is and down here I have a litre of water, cold water, but we're not going to use all of it. So first of all, I'm going to add in the spices, all the spices. Mix it and then I'm going to add in all the vegetables. Mix it all in and now gradually by gradually adding water. We need a thick consistency of our mixture. We don't want it runny or sloppy. And because um, ground flour quickly absorbs water, so very carefully just add in little by little. Once you've added that in, mix it well all the way through and then add in more water. Basically what I'm trying to say is be very careful when you add in water because if it goes sloppy or runny then you have to keep on topping it up with more gram flour. In that way you'll have more gram flour and less vegetables. So in the beginning I added one teaspoon of salt. Now that the mixture is actually mixed thick I'm going to add in my other teaspoon of salt like I said always add salt according to your taste and your requirement So that's it basically this is the consistency that you need of your gram flour so this is what you need so now that our oil has warmed up we're going to start frying up the oil now how to tell your oil is warmed up just get a vegetable piece put it inside the oil when it starts bubbling up that means the oil is ready Now you can make as small or as large as pakora as you want to. Just pick up the vegetables with your fingers and just drop them down carefully into the oil. them on high heat after a few minutes turn it around and once they have become golden you can take them out they're ready five to six minutes and your pagoras should be ready So 
Two ounces of pakoras are ready. I'm going to take them out on a tea towel. I'm going to turn the gas low. Carefully take them out. And now I'm going to add in the second batch. Now I'm going to cook these on medium to high heat. Now turn them over. So now the second batch is ready. And now I'm gonna add in the third batch. So guys, this is the final look of my vegetable pagoras. I am serving it with three types of chutney and sauces and a cup of hot tea. So if you guys like my today's video, then please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and help me grow my channel. Till my next video, take care. Bye.